Good evening, and welcome to Master's Peace Theater. Tonight's episode features a reading of Masters of the Universe Origins pack-in comic book, Beast Barrage. Beast Barrage came with all six figures in the first series of Masters of the Universe Origins. Without any further delay, we present to you Beast Barrage. Snake Mountain, home of the evil Skeletor. Ah, Beast Man, capture Prince Adam. For his life, Castle Grayskull's secret shall be mine, see? Ah. And with it, or a power in the universe, Skeletor. Skeletor, the prince is outside the castle's magic shield, and he's all by himself. Ah, <laughs> excellent, evil land. Ah, uh, Eternia, there's no place more beautiful, no place I'd rather call home. No place I'd rather protect as the mighty Adam. I, uh, I just needed some alone time, Tila. Wandering around outside the castle without one of my guards? What are you thinking? Skeletor! Ah, it looks like we got company after all, beast man. Ah, get the prince, dispose of the others. Uh, attack! Adam, get out of here! We'll hold him off for as long as we can. Uh, I'll find He-Man. This is as good a spot as any. By the power of Grayskull, I, I have, have the, the power! E-Man, get him! Like not today, Beast Dude. Your days are numbered. Now where's Skeletor? Ah, beast Man better return with the Prince soon. Looking for somebody, bro? You're like through, Skeletor. Ah, evil Lynn, get us out of here. I'll get you, I'll next, get you next time, time He-Man, man, see? see? Yeah. He will be back. And we'll be ready for him. Ah, what a tale. It's a shame it had to come to an end so soon. That's all our time for this week. We hope you'll join us again on Master's Peace Theater. Good night. <laughs> Alright, so new for 2021, it's Masters of the Universe Origins Beast Man, rather the Lords of Power Beast Man, as you can tell with the Lords of Power logo uh, sticker across the front of the bubble here. We see Lords of Power Beast Man. Um, well, you wouldn't know that this means Lords of Power. It just says L-O-P. It could mean anything, really. It could be long old penis. But we know it means Lords of Power, and this is Lords of Power Beast Man that came out in 2021 alongside a couple of other figures, but let's take a look at this. It looks like the old Masters of the Universe box. It's the same box that all of the Masters of the Universe Origins figures come with. He is packed with a comic book, um, and on the back, as we turn it around here, we see Beast Man's primal rage is a feral force that only Eternia's mightiest can hope to contain. And we see an image of He-Man charging at Beast Man on a almost like an active volcano. And uh, man, what a great looking piece of artwork we have on the back, and we see. Um, we have uh, He-Man, Skeletor, Beast Man, the Eternian Goddess. <laughs> we have Web Store and Stink Ore on this. And uh, yeah, the He-Man and, and uh, Skeletor on here are, have the vintage style heads as they uh, changed them up here later on. Just recently picked up a He-Man with uh, the vintage style head waiting on Skeletor to come through. I didn't want to pay any scalper prices on those, so... Um, but I was able to find them actually pretty cheap. Uh, twist into powerful battle positions. No, no extra gimmicks here. You usually have two panels here on the back. We only got one with uh, Lords of Power Beast Man, but that's fine um, because this is a really, really cool looking figure. 
I can't wait to see what he looks like outside of the box. So let's take a look and see what he looks like outside the box. All right, so as we get everything out of the box, the first thing we have here is the Rock and a Hard Place comic book that was packed in with the, the four figures that came in this line. A quick little four page comic book um, that we'll be taking a closer look at later on. Um, but they are they are pretty cool. They've got nice art and cool little stories. It's it's a shame that they didn't come with one to one comic books. Each guy gets a, a comic book that's individual to the to the character. Um, they they came with uh, you know per the the four guys in the line. So there's that. Um, also comes with a, an instruction manual. <laughs> to show you the modular parts for the uh, for the Origins figures. So you can remove all these parts, swap them out, change them with the other uh, Origins figures. You could also swap them out with the uh, WWE, the Masters of the WWE Universe uh, figures. So let's get everything uh, squared away here. Um, we've got the accessories to put on Old Beast Man uh, to make him look extra special. Um, does he have a weapon or anything? I don't think he comes with an extra weapon, but I'm gonna put them all together, get this crap cleaned up, and see what he looks like all put together right now. All right, so here he is outside the box. It's Lords of Power Beast Man. He is pretty much as is. I think they, they packed him with his shoulder pads separate uh, to kind of make up for the fact that he doesn't come with anything else. He is bare bones, if you will. And actually, when it comes to paint apps, he's pretty bare bones. He is pretty much all red. Um, his little speedo, um, his arms and everything, with the exception of these like gauntlet area things, that are, they're actually sculpted, extra pieces of sculpt that come off the side here, of these blades that he's got. Here, um, those are painted. Um, of course, we have paint apps on the face, a couple of paint apps. Um, we have this accessory, this belt, this championship belt that he's got on that attaches in the back. And of course, the shoulder pads um, that have uh, another paint application on there. But beyond that, um, that's pretty much it as far as extra detail as opposed to the the merman the Lords of Power merman we saw that actually had a little bit more detail than our uh, than our standard merman that we get in the the Lords of Power or the or the uh, the masters of the universe origins line um, so but other than that like I mean okay it's fine he doesn't have a lot of paint applications but what he does have is a very very, very cool look. He looks like a beast, man. <laughs> you know, he's got the big, long uh, ape arms. He's got a very gorilla-esque sort of look about him. The face paint is there. Let's take a look at Masters of the Universe Origins Beast Man as his uh, shit falls off of him. Um, there he is. You make comparisons to him. He's actually the color the new one, the Lords of Power one, is actually the color of uh, Beast Man's accessories. Um, and Beast Man's got, a, got, it seems like he has a few more paint applications. He's got the full paint on the Speedo. He's got, uh, you know, paint applications on his accessories. He's also got um, a, a few more little uh, details on the face as opposed to, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's the same, maybe it's different. Uh, he seems like he's got a little bit more detail to him. Um, when you take a look at it. But otherwise, I think they're both great, great looking figures. Honestly, this figure, um, it doesn't seem as much like a replacement, but almost a different character to the to the Beast Man. So as opposed to where we were looking at the Merman figures and uh, the Merman kind of blows the uh, the other one out, out of the water, this Merman, or this Beast Man rather, um, can stand side by side with our Beast Man as a, as a separate Beast Man character and uh, looks very, very cool. But let's put him away for a moment and uh, and take a look at this this beast man. Let's let's take it to the end of the day.
At the end of the day, is it worth the money when these things are, are going for you know 15 bucks at retail? Absolutely. The problem, the main problem, and the problem that, that we've had since the beginning of the Origins line is the price that people have to pay most of the time is that you're not going to find these at retail. They're going to be really difficult to find at retail. Sometimes you can find them at retail, but most of the time you're going to have to pay um, a third party. You're going to have to pay a scalper. You're going to have to pay one of these uh, uh, online distributors, so whatever you want to call them, and you're not going to pay the regular retail price of what you would have paid if you found them at Target. You're going to pay $5, $10, $20, $30 more um, than, than you would have at a, at a, in a retail uh, situation. So that's really the problem was, and, and my main issue with this line, because I think this line is great. I think this line is really awesome. I think putting the, the extra posability on the old school style Masters of the Universe figures is, a, is an awesome idea. Um, I just wish more people were able to, to get these figures and not just Skeletor and He-Man, but, but Beast Man and Trapjaw and and so on and so forth. Um, but this is uh, Masters of the Universe, Lords of Power, Beast Man.